hello my internet friends and um, today um, I'll be showing you something uh, very good so before we start first of all I'll introduce myself my name is Roland Marvin and I'm your host for today so let's kick off now um, recently I've been having these um, these uh, messages I've been having messages from friends and um, people and my fans and they were like ah how can I start creating a website when I don't have a laptop now um, I want to tell you you can actually do that you can actually um, learn how to create a website without owning a laptop because that was what I did when I started my web career I had no laptop then I was using my I was using my smartphone for it and applications for designing web page um, smartphone applications for designing web page now are very very intelligent they have advanced app which you can use unlike then uh, what i was using was handwriter and uh, the old version of handwriter when you only have or to complete as the feature that was the best feature there so um, we had issues so we had issues actually trying to mark up tags trace your um, move your opening tag and your closing tag so in fact the editing was stressful it was very very stressful but we had to do what we can to practice and master web design now i want to tell you that uh, there are software that makes life easy for you now which you can use and uh, um, last week i actually went through google play store and i saw so many of them and i actually got one which we'll be using for this art tutorial so I will show you how to get through and start learning web development now in learning web development we'll be needing two applications one is uh, for reference purpose you'll be using you you read up um, the first one is for is for reading you're actually ready to know um, how to go about HTML and the other one is um, the one you'll be using to actually practice the HTML now the first one which is one you'll be reading is um, W3 school offline and this is it this is it right here in my phone W3 school offline this is the app here this is it here so W3 school offline this is it so you can just download it on your mobile phone and um, you read it up so this is W3 school now if I open the application you will see um, the features uh, it has all the language needed for web development um so i'll wait for it to open and um this is it so you have html css bootstrap javascript angular php jquery so on and so forth so all you just need to do is follow them accordingly um, after learning html you go back to css you go back to bootstrap javascript angular php and i'm sure before you go through all these you are perfect for web design and maybe development so that's that for this software now the other one i'll be showing you is um the a code a code it's called a code a code and this app now this is what you'll be using to actually practice your html this is it over here a code so you'll be using this app to practice your html as you can see the name a code free now that's what i have there so if i click on it to open so we'll see how it is okay now you see it very nice with um, a very nice interface so you have um, untitled text and all that so I can just come over here and add some HTML tags there so if I come over here and I click um, this and I say open angle bracket then I type in h1 and I close that angle bracket and I say uh, heading of my document document then I close that then I'll give it a slash h1 um, close then this one then underneath I will create a button so I will say this button close angle bracket and I'll type in click me click me and I would uh, close the slash and type in button nice so mm, I'm gonna close that now I'm done so I can save this so if I go over to save and I say save as if I save as I'll go to my internal storage under alarms I'll save it in my alarm folder oh um, let me go over to work okay so I'm saving it here so all I'll do I'll click save here save here and save here you find it here this save here so I'll click on save here to save it there so so you save here then I'll type in name of the file so I'll call this index.html no there's no space for it.html so I'll click 
okay so my file is saved now for me to view my web page it's very simple all i need to do is to click this play button at the top of my editor so if i just click this play button at the top here then i will be able to view my web page so let's click on it now so i'll just click on it now it's giving me two options it's saying preview mode browser on or in app now if i select browser it will open with a browser in my mobile phone either with google chrome or um, apple or whichever browser i'm having but i'm sure it's google chrome it's open with google chrome but if i say in app then it will use the default um, app browser so it will open inside this app so i don't want to open it in an external application i want to open it inside this app so i'll click on in app then if i click on in app then our website is loading i have to wait okay boom now these are website as you can see i have the heading right there and i have my button so i can click on this button pop 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 but it does nothing because we we haven't actually programmed anything to that button so it has no function so this is how you create a website so um, everything i did here they're actually inside that app if you so if we switch over if we switch over to w3 school you will find it there so we'll wait for it to open okay now this is w3 school and if i click on html and it's loading loading and loading and loading boom now this is it now you can see the right up here what is html with html you can create your own website html tutorial teaches you everything you need to know blah 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 then if i click on this now bar and i scroll i go over to headings you see the h1 i use there so you see it you have h1 you have h2 you have h3 and all that say so headings are important headings uh, html horizontal rules and all that you have all the documentations there then um, if you scroll down to forms i think you have form then under form if i go to form element i think you have that button i use there so you see the example there um school yeah button now this is it button the button element defines a clickable button so this is this was what way i get that got that from so now this what you need so if you can follow up this tutorial if you can follow up this um this w3 school and practice with your a code i'm sure with time you you must have been able to create a very simple website so that's all for this video um see you guys if um if you love the content if you love the video please don't forget to like click my subscribe button and click the, the notification uh, bell there to get more videos i'll be making in the future so see you guys thank you god bless you and goodbye